All right, welcome back. I'm Paris. We're playing Graveyard Keeper. Uh, I got a whole playlist videos in the description. Um, I forgot what we did last time. Uh, oh, we did a prayer. Um, let's we'll use the Witcher's Eye. Uh, next to. Waterfall. Here. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. That must not be right. <laughs> it should just make me go over there must be up here. Hmm, it looks like just the place. They were here. A young astrologer and the fourth keeper. The eyes trembling. Why am I thinking about unicorns? I never do this. Then keeper tried to catch a moth. I could see myself doing that, but he caught a huge hornet. Uh-oh. playing dice right here. Keeper was cheating and astrologer lost his shirt and his pants and his underwear. They lit a fire and fried fish. And fried a fish? Hmm, I never heard of poisonous fish around here. Innkeeper made a cocktail mixing four types of alcohol in one flat. Oh my god. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these stones while I'm here. So we know how I need stone. There's Keeper and Astrologer daring each other to drink the hellish cocktail. Here they're singing serenades and embracing each other. Where the astrologer vomited twice. Ew. Bones. The keeper knocked the flask over and fell over himself and wait. There are four vampires attack them right here. Some sort of magic turned them into jawbones. Bingo. One of those jawbones is still here in the ground. Please shovel, don't break. Thank you. Looks like that's it, but I can't stop thinking about naked raven-haired women riding unicorns. I think the witch cloth, though, could disenchant this jawbone for me. I'm pretty sure there's a body over there. <laughs> I might as well use it everywhere. Wow, a whole squad of soldiers was here. 33 guys in black and orange uniforms. And the Inquisitor is with them. He gives them an inspiring speech and sends them to 
capture cloth now. The Inquisitor waits for an hour, killing mosquitoes and flies with the huge gilded book. The Inquisitor departs, accompanied by 33 black and orange clad frogs. <laughs> Get it, cloth though. That's what I'm talking about, cloth though. Well, I'm already over here, so I might as well just wait. Well, I'm gonna have to. Uh, get rid of the wooden beam. Cause I, she's gonna give me something. I just don't remember what it is. No, what? Uh, uh, we're gonna. Go to the dead horse. And we're gonna give him this. What's home? Oh, uh, I need some jewelry for her. Go get the jewelry. Wait, we gotta fix up the mill first. Since we're already here. Oh, you fixed it. You can mill your wheat here for free if you want. I hope this helps me get Alyssa's paper. Small boy draws a smiling face on soil. Two inquisitors approach him and say something. He runs into this house. Farmer leaves his home and starts arguing loudly with his visitors. They point to the nearby window from time to time. In the end, Farmer grabs a pitchfork and confronts them. The inquisitors quickly leave. A pale and thin woman appears in the door. She looks gravely ill. Farmer embraces her gently, calms her, and leads her back inside. I hear the mill is fixed. That's good for business, and Alyssa really does want to go. I love my daughter. I want what's best for her, so she can go. What a nice man. Okay, and then go get the jewelry. Alyssa's paper. Here's the paperwork. She can go with you to the concert. Wonderful. We just need to correct our age a little bit. Plus two years. That'll make everything a little easier. Hmm. Correction looks sloppy. It's pretty obvious that someone corrected the number. Now I need an aristocrat to countersign the paper, but I don't want to ask just anyone. The wrong rumor could be the death of my reputation. Maybe you could get some aristocrat papers. And I'd only need your signature. Wow, that looks pretty illegal. You're the one to talk. I bet if you get all sorts of illegal stuff at your graveyard. Besides, it's not like I'll forget to thank you, my sweet. I don't like it, but I guess that I guess the end justifies the means. Here's some jewelry. Well look, that's so nice. The design is so fresh I could definitely sell. 
a lot of them to the noble ladies in the town. What about promoting my company? Sure, I'll tell everyone about your vegetables too. Well, I could have just bought some. Okay. Now we'll go back home and talk to Coco. I'm gonna buy some more for the speed potion. That feels so much better. Ask her about ask her to disenchant a jawbone. First I want some speed potion. disenchant the jawbone. Clotho, I have a jaw. I'd like you to turn it into a vampire. No. Oh, certainly, sweetie. Open your mouth. Stop it. I'm at the other jaw. It's enchanted vampire, and I need you to disenchant it. No. Oh, that's even easier. Let me see. Hmm, interesting. No. Zora is so bright. I'm afraid I can't dispel such powerful magic, my boy. I'm sorry. Alright, I was really counting on you. Are you sure there's nothing we can do? Well, of course, you could always try one thing. A memory tincture. Great. It, I'd be really grateful. Oh, must warn you, one of your predecessors, the third keeper, used memory tincture several times. Oh, he told me it's unstable, unreliable, and has several side effects. If there's any hope, it'll work. It's worth trying. By the way, you'll need some memory powder for preparing the tincture. Here's a pinch. If you need more, you're more than welcome to it. It's 20 years past its expiration date. One more thing, if you meet a lovely woman who purchased a recipe for a motion of death, Please remind her that she has forgot to take her change. Okay, thanks, Clotho. Trade. Always need to get health. What is I wish she sold blood. I know that felt so bad. Use sweet home. I think I can make some sauerkraut. Oh. Okay. Not that serious. Um. Okay, I need an iron axe. I don't know what kind of chisels that she needs. And I forgot that dude wants to talk to me too. Iron axe for this dude. He's up here somewhere. Okay, no chopping down the trees. Huh, where is he at? Accidentally ran into him. Okay, I don't need you anymore. Where's the accident? Ah. Can I sell this to you? No. I have a nicer axe. I'll give you two recipes, pasta and lasagna, that will be all you need to keep cut trees all day long. Meat is expensive, the trick is in slow releasing carbs, lentils have even better protein. Okay. One of the brothers wants to talk to me. You? Ask about the business. I heard you were looking for me. Yes, I wanted to thank you for helping the village. I admire people who help others. Not expecting anything in return. Oh, stop it. No, I mean it. I personally appreciate what you've done for all of us. And just when we needed it most. I prepared a small present for you. Hope you like it. Hmm, thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, uh, really? They just gave me something that I didn't need. those but I need them who cares hey okay, uh as well do these in the center beekeeper puts a mannequin portraying Adam with targets on his legs and arms he can your strikes Gong, nothing happens. Beekeeper takes the mannequin away and brings him to He's happily licking a honey stick. Targets and touches body. That's messed up. You sweet home. Carrots. Oh my god, we have no freaking carrot. The wheat. There's We have no carrots. And that's a lot of paper. Oh, I won't run out anytime soon. Okay. Paper. Okay. 
everything from this body. Gotta start working on my graveyard. Clear all these bodies out. Body. Anything in here? Oh my god. So many sand shards in there. I mean, uh, body parts in there. Blood. Flesh. Sense. Heart. Brain. And... everything out now. Burn the body. Nope, I gotta keep the faith on me. supposed to go to the other bar. 
Donkey, that'll do, that'll do, donkey, that'll do. Ah. Uh. Hey, okay, so. Four. Four red, four white. This body sucks. So we're not even gonna worry about it. This is a burn body. Actually, it's six. I don't know what I did. Um, got a gravesite there. Be one fifty six, and I have uh, three more bodies, another brain, We just dumped all the cookies on my bed. Okay. Okay. Extracted intestines. Take the body. Sorry. Uh, there might be a little bit of noise in the background. Uh, I'm watching my nephew right now. I promise I'm about to clean all this up. so much stuff over here I can't even get in the can't get to the body This, this, 
this. This. in here. I don't feel like looking for where all this stuff goes. Finally, so we have a uh, move a let's go heart brain on test. You know what? I'm not going to do this. <laughs> huh? 
I'm just... No, I think I'm just gonna burn this water. We didn't do much this episode, but I think I'm gonna end it here. Just for right now. Um, if you like what you saw, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thank you.